You know, hola means hello, right? Barcelona is the city where we are. So please give me a very big hola, Barcelona. Can you do that for me? Okay, one, two, three. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. We are very happy to be here this year. We uh, have our startup pavilion sponsored by the Kennex Association. Let me tell you about startups. Okay, it's not going through the... Okay. I've been reflecting about startups. I've been working now hand in hand with them, feeling their journey to thrive in this hard market. So I know how much they suffer, how much they enjoy their pains. And uh, I reflected with an own experience that I think is a good analogy. Some years ago, I decided to cross the Cedarberg Leopard Sanctuary in Western Cape, South Africa. To make it more, more interesting, I did it two weeks before my wedding, so thank you to my wife for allowing me. This is going... Uh, So it's not working. The, the, oh yeah. But for those online, this is a live event, so these things happen. But anyway, I will continue with the story. The slide will come through. When I decided to do this adventure, I tried to uh, find out uh, what I would have ahead of my journey, so I planned as much as I could that experience. I think I assessed all the risks, and then I went on the journey by myself for seven days, crossing this beautiful, isolated section. Everything went more or less well until the very last day. The very last day, I had uh, uh, 85 kilometers through this uh, uh, region, there's nothing in between, and it was plus 50 degrees Celsius. It took me 14 hours to complete this uh, event or this journey, and I ran out of water several times. I did suffer very much, but fortunately, I found people along the way, people driving four by fours, some isolated farms in between, and they gave me water, otherwise I would have never made it. So the analogy with the startup incubator that we are running and our startups is the companies joining our incubator are facing unknown risks. They are trying to put their product out in the market. You think you have a plan, but then things, plans change. But fortunately, there are people helping you out like in this case, getting water from, from people. That's what our role of the startup incubator from KNX is, to assist our incubators to thrive. We try to give them resources to make it through this tough journey. Okay, now it's working. So this is the, 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 that trip that I took. The KNX Startup Incubator is allowing the startups to thrive. Let me tell you a few things about the Startup Incubator. In this cult pay, uh, uh, book from uh, Nassim Taleb, it says, how do you innovate? First, try to get in trouble. I mean, serious, but not terminal trouble. Innovation and sophistication spark from initial situations of necessity. So that's what startups are doing. I'm finding the necessity in the market, and they are filling the gap in the market with their products. Our incubator. We have now six 
healthy startups from various countries and continents. They are exhibiting in the, uh, in the pavilion, the KNX Startup Pavilion. And our startups commit to use KNX IoT-based technology to base their developments. KNX has been in the market for more than 30 years with a, a very healthy portfolio of devices based on uh, our original specifications, twisted pair, radio frequency, KNX NetIP protocol. Last year, we released the new KNX IoT specifications, and our startups are using these uh, uh, specifications to develop their products and solutions. So we can say they are the early adopters in our market. A few highlights. These companies, some of them are presenting today. For instance, Solarogy, they have produced a shutter that uh, produces energy. So they manufacture these uh, solar cells for shutters to produce electricity. A brilliant solution, and thanks to KNX IoT API server, they can gather the data from the installation and show the data to the end user. Energy consumption, energy production, etc. Our very well-known startup SimLab has a, the most incredible 3D visualization and asset management solution in the market and they offer their solution and the servers thanks to the KNX IoT API server. Our startup CanX from France, they are also early adopters of the technology by enabling these servers in the market. Likewise, with Atios, they do the same, targeting other uh, ecosystems. Or like Infiware, you can find this product in our KNX IoT panel in the ISC uh, booth. They have uh, produced the KNX IoT router that enables the communication between the KNX twisted pair radio frequency and KNX IoT point API. And coming soon, uh, to be announced uh, in upcoming uh, fairs. Also, another uh, very interesting startup which is developing KNX IPv6, uh, KNX IoT point API devices. So, all in all, we are helping our startups, but our startups are also helping KNX to thrive in this very competitive market. We don't do this alone. We have a great uh, partners and now, uh, thankfully, new sponsors that are helping our startups to test and play with KNX. Our three sponsors of the startup incubator, uh, GVS, Tapco, and Vinesell. Thanks to them, we can provide our startups with test benches and KNX technology in order to play with KNX. For those who are online, you can visit their booth in the expo area. And also very proud to announce our new uh, partnership with Riot. Uh, you will also get the presentation uh, from uh, Tom, he's here to explain what startups are and what they do to help them. We, are, uh, we embedded our startup ecosystem within a riot. So it is KNX IoT time. We have a very nice agenda with an incredible selection of guest speakers. Tom from Riot. Then we have a Chris from the 11 IoT which is exp uh, sharing with us his experience in developing KNX IoT. We have Maurice from Solarogy. As well, Bruno, he's been also a very early adopter of KNX IoT and his company Cascoda offering the modules for 
uh, Kinex IoT Point API development, and our newest member in the a big player in the uh, IP industry, Aruba, a Hewlett Packard enterprise company. And finally, a wrap up and a, a very nice selection of giveaways that we will randomly uh, distribute in our within our uh, uh, attendees today here. So enough of my presentation. I think it's time now to welcome our uh, guest speakers. Please enjoy their presentations. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 